Hi friends, today we're going to talk about how to do our journal writing. And this is another activity we're going to be doing every day. I just love doing journal writing. It's super fun to keep track of what I'm doing in my life and what things I love. And I love looking back at the pictures over time. So today we're going to start with some different materials. Your mom should have a nice school box like this for you with some different supplies inside and a notebook. So we're going to need both of those things today. And we're also going to need the folder that Mrs. Simpson gave you, the green folder like this. So we're going to start by looking at some of the things inside the folder and how you might use those things. And then we'll get going with the journal writing. So on this side of the folder, there's some things for your moms and dads. There's this. It talks about writing development and it shows how early writers are writing compared to older kids. It also talks about do's and don'ts for journal time. These are for your parents to look at. So a little information, since your parents are helping teach you at home, they need to know all about this teacher stuff. Okay, and so then on the other side, we have some more fun things. We have some stickers, we have some cards, and it says ideas. And we have a little chart like this, an alphabet chart that has all the letters like A, B, all of them. And has a little picture too. So we know that banana goes B, B, banana. Okay, so we're gonna use some of these for our journal. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stickers out because this is gonna be your first thing. We wanna make our journal look really special and pretty. So Mrs. Simpson has some special stickers for you. So you're gonna take out your stickers and I'm gonna actually use these stickers. And I'm gonna put them all over the cover, just on the cover, and I'm gonna try not to like overlap them. So I have a turtle sticker, a spaceship, ooh, an airplane, um, a hot air balloon, I think that's all the stickers I'm going to use. You can decide how many you use. You might want to use all of them. Then we're going to open to the first page. So it's important that you always start on the next clean page. So this is the first clean page. So I'm going to use this one first. Oh, so I'm going to draw a picture about something. I'm not sure what. I don't know. I don't know what to draw or write about today. Hmm. Well, it's best to think about something in your life. So what have I done today? Well, I did some cooking today. I made some cookies. So I could draw some cookies. That would be a good idea. Hmm. No, I don't want to draw about cookies. I'm not even sure I know how to draw a cookie. Hmm. I don't know. Well, this would be a time to use these idea cards. It says I could draw about nature. So I did go for a walk today. Maybe I could draw the sun or I could draw some of the trees that I saw. Um, maybe not. Oh, it says family. I could draw about my kids. It says animals. Oh, that's kind of a fun thing. I did go to the zoo the other day. I could draw maybe some of the animals I saw at the zoo. Friends, sports weather. Well, yesterday there was a big rainstorm. That might be a fun thing to draw about. It really surprised me the way that it came so fast. There was some big dark clouds and some rain. So I think I am going to draw about weather. So I'm going to think about in my head what I could draw about weather. Well, I'm not going to draw a sunny day. I'm going to draw the weather from yesterday, which was the rain. So I think I'll start with a big gray cloud. And then I'm gonna draw some rain, because it rained. And it made some like puddles on the ground. So it's always important to have some details, some puddles. And I didn't go outside during the rain, so I'm not gonna draw myself in it, but I could. All right, so there's my drawing. I drew the rain that happened yesterday. So now I wanna have some words that go along with my picture and a lot of times at the beginning of 4k the moms and dads and teachers help write the words so you might want to give your notebook to your family and you might say um, I wanted to say it rained yesterday so then your mom would write down here 
it rained yesterday. I'm just put a period at the end. Um, so then when she's done writing, she should read it back to you to make sure it says the right things. It rained yesterday. So that could be done. But maybe some of you are out there and you're starting to write some words and you wanna write words to what uh, the picture is showing. So maybe some of you might be ready to write the word rain. So then you're gonna think about the letters that you hear. So you're gonna say rrr, rrr, rrr. And maybe you need to look at your chart to remember what maybe is making that rrr, robot, rain. Rrr, they start the same. So you might wanna start by writing an R. Then let's see, I'm gonna sound it out some more. Ray, I'm hearing an A sound. A, alligator, A, okay. So I'm gonna make an A. Rain, hmm. Well, here at the end, I hear an N. So rain, mm. okay. So then nail the same. And this might be how you're writing rain right now. R-A-N. And maybe your teacher or your mom might say, oh, there's a letter you don't actually hear in rain. Yeah, if it's right there, there's an I there. Or maybe you just leave it like this because this is what, this is what you hear. R-A-N. So that's journal writing.